going on? It's me, Suzanne, and today I am doing a beauty tutorial sharing with you guys my eyebrow routine. Now, you guys have asked me so many times, like, how do you get your eyebrows so thick? What do you do? Do you pencil them in? Do you tweeze? Do you wax? Do you thread? Whew. So today I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do, and um, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. I naturally have really thick eyebrows, but I will admit that I do um, add a little something something here and there to kind of keep them tanged and um, in shape, literally. Tweezer man, tweezers, eyebrow razor, Vaseline's original lip therapy jelly, a slanted brush, a light stroke brush to set the powder, a, just like an eyebrow brush or a brow wand, Lorax to go pro palette, YSL highlighter, Touche Eclat in shade, 2.5, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and some gentle cleansing facial wipes. Let's get started. First step is to obviously make sure that you've prepped your eyebrows before you even put your makeup on. Get that unibrow tamed, and um, just, I tweeze the hair around my brow. But I don't actually tweeze any of the hair. You don't wanna do that if you wanna keep your eyebrow hair thick. If you are trying to create an arch and maybe you don't have that shape, I recommend that you find where the end of your eye sits and just kind of put your little, um, use your tweezer as a kind of like a cursor to just go up and then you're just gonna wanna tweeze in that area. Again, you don't wanna over tweeze or touch anything else around the brow because you want that thick, natural look. If you are somebody who has thinner eyebrows and maybe you used to have thick eyebrows and you're like, ah, I miss thick eyebrows or I want to achieve thicker brows, I recommend um, castor oil. You can get it at Whole Foods. Just get natural castor oil and just put it on your brow every night before bed. And it's honestly said in research that your eyebrows are gonna go thicker with it. So I haven't tried it, but um, I know a couple of girls who have and they said it actually works. So if you want to um, start getting those thick eyebrows, um, step one, don't over tweeze. And then two, pick up some castor oil at Whole Foods and just put it on your eyebrow every night before bed. Another thing that I use um, when I'm not tweezing because you know my eyebrow hair can grow really long. And I, I don't remember the last time I did it, but I'll just show you by doing the caterpillar eyebrows here. Again, I have nothing on my eyebrows right now so that you can see. But you see how like the hair, I have a lot of it. Um, I like to obviously brush it down with the brow wand. But when I'm trying to trim that hair, instead of tweezing that hair out, because again, I said I don't like my eyebrows looking super thin, I get a brow razor. You can get these at Sally Beauty Supply and they're super light. So the razor isn't like a normal, you know, like shaving your armpits razor. It's, um, it's made for the brow, so it's light to the touch, but you've gotta be careful because obviously anything with a blade on it can be dangerous. Use the razor as a trimmer to just lightly trim the hair. So I'm not like getting rid of the hair, I'm just trimming it. I just like to add a little bit of my lip therapy treatment from Vaseline, and I just put a little bit on my finger and I run it through, again, to just keep the hair sort of in place. So after you've tamed your brows, the next step is grab our slanted brush here, and I'm going to dip it in the Cafe Chocolate Color in my Lorac To Go Pro Palette, and I mix it with a little bit of black. And I think that even if you do have black hair, you still wanna go for like the darkest brown because black can just look so harsh on your face and unnatural in my opinion. So I like to just add the color right here. And that's why I love this slanted brush and then I go up because this slanted brush, it kind of keeps it straight versus a regular old brush. And you're just gonna kind of go through it. You don't wanna overdo it here, okay? So I kind of instantly have added length here to the front versus this side, as you can see. And then I add just a little bit to the ends because I'll admit, sometimes I accidentally tweeze the ends and I'm like, ugh, why did I do that? Can there be an undo button? And we're gonna do the same exact thing to the other side. And now what I do is I grab my highlighter, apply it underneath my brow, and this is going to just make it look just perfection. I look hideous right now. Just pat it down with your finger. 
careful not to get the color smeared and smudged. Same thing on this eye. And I use this highlighter for a lot of things. I use it under, under my eyes. I use it on my nose. And it doesn't have shimmer in it, which I used to get confused between a highlighter and I guess an illuminator. A highlighter just sort of highlights certain areas without the extra gloss and the shimmer. It brightens your face. So now that I've pressed, whoo, the heck was that? Oh, it was my sponge. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my light stroke brush and my secret brightening powder. If you don't have a secret brightening powder, um, a translucent powder works just as fine. I just love this one because it's super light and made for around the eyes. I'm just going to apply it almost directly on the eyebrow, but mainly around it. Around it, as you can see. That's gonna keep the color um, that we added in place and it's not gonna smudge when you get all hot and sweaty. What I do to just finish it off is just, again, I just like to add a little bit of my um, Vaseline little mini lip therapy just on my finger right across the brow. This gives it a natural little glow, kind of like the runway glossy brow, but not too much. There you have it. I didn't mention this, but the facial wipes, what I use them for is sometimes when I put my face makeup on because I wait to do my eyebrows as the last step, um, I get some of my foundation on my eyebrows. So what I use is um, these facial wipes to just wipe them down and clean them up before I start my eyebrow routine. So you can use these for that, or if you mess up, you can always use these to wipe them down and start over. I hope this tutorial answers all of your questions that I've been getting about my eyebrows. And even though it's taken me like maybe 10 plus minutes, I don't know how long this video is, gonna, is running, um, it, it really takes me like, like two minutes to do, if that. Um, on a daily basis. So it's really easy. I hope you guys will try it out and definitely let me know what you guys want to see next because I am so excited to be doing lots more videos. Yay! All right, guys, until next time. Mwah. Mwah. Bye.